Ivy Valentine subscribes to Mark Yoon, so should you. Enjoy your treat! Hey everyone, so in today's video I want to talk about something that comes up a lot in my videos and something that comes up a lot in other kind of forums, whether it be Reddit or anywhere else. These questions are always inundated with Soul Calibur or any other fighting game for that matter, and that is online versus single player experience. Now, Soul Calibur 7 is probably going to focus on the, the latter. Uh, single, single player seems to be the focus of most of Soul Cal Calibur's actual budgetary restraints or what their focus is on. Bandai Namco has never been known for having really good, robust online net codes, but that seems to be changing now with rollback being added to uh, games like Samurai Showdown and games like um, Dragon Ball Fighters, for example, and I believe even Tekken 8. So um, the consensus with all those is that it's pretty good. So hopefully Soul Calibur 7, I don't think hopefully, it'll probably pretty much be mandated by Bandai Namco that if they're going to release a game in that state that it needs to be up to par with their online standards across the board. So I'm sure that like the online is going to be at least as good as those titles that I talked about. But what is the importance of this? So I've done multiple polls on my channel and just talking to people in general before, even people that are developers and people that are actually in the esports space that play Soul Calibur in particular, uh, among other fighting games. But the consensus usually lies that like there needs to be a mixed balance when it comes to Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur comes with it more expectations than some of the other fighting games. Uh, for example, if you were to talk to a Mortal Kombat player, they would say that yes, the story is important and they do cinematic great stories, but the online is more important and we need to be able to focus on the competitive aspect of it. And there's usually not too much outside of the main campaign for that arena. Street Fighter is an opposite thing. Some people say don't even waste time on the story, don't even waste resources on the story. Just put all those resources into making this one of the best fighting games you could possibly make. Make the net code robust, make everybody be able to have good online clean matches and uh, settings and all that stuff and making sure that like there's a search functionality and we can weed out Wi-Fi users. Like the, everybody that plays games has a different consensus for what they choose in that game. When it comes to Soul Calibur, um, I think it's about 60-40 when it comes to single player versus online play. Now a lot of people do play this game online, but the single player aspect of it seems at least in this case, just for this single game or this series to be more on the side of single player. Uh, character creation has like a huge robust community behind it for example and you wouldn't be sure to find any number of creation channels on YouTube or other streaming services for that matter um, cre character creation is a huge part of it and there are people that don't touch the character creator uh, but maybe they actually make alternate costumes for the main cast and like that's considered single player as well there are multiple story modes in Soul Calibur games for example, if we just look at back at six, we had not only Libra of the Souls, but we, which are all canon by the bullet way, but we also had story mode. We also had the individual Soul Chronicles for every character, and then the DLC added to that. So we had three different modes of play for the story, and then you also unlocked the encyclopedia pages. So you would go into the museum and read the encyclopedia pages, and that gave you more background lore and information on the characters, which was especially important in six because it was a soft reboot. So when we're talking about like online versus single player experiences specifically for Soul Calibur. Um, though the consensus may be 60-40 or may even be closer to 50-50, uh, it's definitely important for this in particular genre. If you released any kind of game for Soul Calibur that doesn't have a story mode, it's probably going to fail. Uh, they had that free-to-play game that came out around the same time that Tekken did theirs, uh, and it didn't do too well. They had um, a short-lived iOS app but I don't really count that as like a full game. But a lot of people that come to my channel, for example, even though maybe have a lower subscriber count, talk about the lore and talk about the background and talk about the characters that they love and why they love those characters, uh, what they want their characters to do in the future and why they care about like what happens to those characters and their part in the story. You have everybody from your normal main usage people that like, I only use Valdo online or I only use Talim online to the characters who are like, these are characters that I hold dear to me because of how important they are in the story and because of how much the lore uh, means to me. And I'm not saying that this isn't the case across the board for every game, but like for example, King of Fighters doesn't even have like a story mode. Uh, I believe like it kind of does, but I think you just watch basically like a five hour like movie and it's not interactive at all. Um, 
actually, that may actually be Guilty Gear Strive. I think King of Fighters doesn't have a story at all. <laughs> so there are games out there for esports fans that just want to throw down and fight and not have to worry about stuff. I myself personally love single player. I do like online as well, and I love throwing down with friends and having competitions. But when it comes to the single player, it's like the reason why I choose my main and it makes me love my main even more is because of the backstory that my main goes through. And I generally tend to go towards somebody who represents me in some way. So somebody's character or somebody's fighting style or somebody uh, who interacts with characters in a certain way. These are the kind of things that I look for in my main. It's not just who's got the best move set because I have really complicated mains in certain games. For example, in Tekken, um, my main is Kazuya, my second main is Huarong, and my third main is Li Chalan. So I don't exactly go for like the Jins or go for Heihachi or you know the people, the ones that people like want to go for all the time. Sometimes that's the case. Uh, Mitsurugi in Soul Calibur has always kind of been my main with Cervantes on the back end, and I dabbled in like uh, Huang Sung Gyeong. In this game, um, when they started, they did this really stupid feature where when the game first came out, Reversal Edge was tied into combo strings. So if you're doing Mitsurugi's like, like uh, backslash, forward slash, or just his, his basic like combo string, Reversal Edge would literally interrupt that before you actually got into the combo extender. So you couldn't actually extend the combos. And uh, this made me drop Mitsurugi for a long time, and I ended up picking up Gro, and he kind of became my main in this game. Um, I've tried to use uh, Huang, but like I'm nowhere near as good as Huang as I need to be. I need to lab him more, but hopefully I can do that more with uh, Soul Calibur 7. So what I'm just saying basically is like there's a lot of different reasons why people play games, and in particular Soul Calibur is one of those games where like it's pretty much split down the middle whether it's online versus single player. So whatever the reason that you play the game, I hope that you enjoy it. But that doesn't mean that both ends or either end needs to be skimped. I've heard some people say that they never touch online and like they don't care about online. They only create characters um, or they only like do their head cannons with Libra of Souls by creating a character and sending it in there and playing stories that way. Or even just like watching the stories online or reading the encyclopedia or listening to the music. Music is a big part of most fighting games, but Soul Calibur is certainly no slouching that comes to that arena. And I think that like a lot of this conversation online needs to revolve around the fact that most of us play these games for different reasons and I too often see people going at each other's throats for uh, liking the part of the game that the other person doesn't like or vice versa. So basically when it's all said and done, if you come across somebody who's not as um, knowledgeable on the lore, let's say, and they only care about online. They're no less of a player than the person who literally has like 4,000 hours in the game but only plays single player. Like they're both co-equal in my eyes because they both purchased a copy of the game and they both supported the developers and they both let, their, let it be known that their souls are still burning and want more content. Um, I don't think there's a discrepancy between the two, but I don't want to see online that become the case. Like I said, like this is a very peculiar situation, like Soul Calibur, Calibur tends to usually be in all arenas, but when it comes specifically to this arena, it's a, it's a hit or miss with people. Um, some people like, I've heard people say like, oh, the game's dead because like the average number of Steam users is like 500 or something like that. Uh, even though I think that's pretty good for online, just for PC on like a game that's been out since like 2018. Uh, so I don't know. It's like really strange to talk about this kind of stuff and I don't want to like play Overlord when it comes to how people control their discourse online. This is just things that I've seen when I talk to people, especially like on Reddit. Like if you go to talk to them about anything, it's like full of people that are just like, well, you are not a real gamer or not a real fan because you don't like this aspect of the game. It's, uh, it's like insane. And this goes also for the, the online players as well. Uh, people that are like, oh, well, Reversal Edge was bad, but you know what's worse? Critical edges. like, I've heard this a lot too, like, people saying, like, supers and ultimates, like, shouldn't be in games because they're too easy, and, um, it, it takes the skill out of a game, which I might make a whole new video on myself, because to me, if you're calling yourself skillful in a game, you should know how to get around that. There are defensive options also. It's not just, like, combo running or, or <laughs> shakedowns or, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play in this game that are easy to spot 
and Soul Calibur specifically, if you're going in to do a critical edge, it's telegraphed, so you should be able to get out of that. Um, especially when they're like blockable. <laughs> I don't understand. If it are like unblockable, then like I can see the argument with that, but this is just another simple example of what I was talking about with that. It's not so much the Discord versus online versus single player as player versus player. We don't need a secret hidden mode in these games where we're fighting each other like on another battlefield. Uh, I think that when it comes to Soul Calibur in particular, it it's very, very, very thin line that the series has like walked on for a long time because of the different changes of directors and the finance options and all that stuff. So the more people that buy the game, the better. Um, I just think that everyone should respect people for playing the game the way that they like to play the game because they're just as equal to that game as you because they paid for it. Um, this doesn't go wrong to say that like some conversations are illogical or some conversations around this topic are, are silly or people like don't know what they're talking about a lot of the times because that happens a lot. Uh, I have people that come into my comment section still trying to ask about the past timeline and things that are going to happen in this game based on what happened in the last timeline. And it's just like frustrating to constantly repeat myself over and over again, but I simply just try to address it in as simplest terms as possible and move on. Um, most people uh, tend to not want to fight when it comes to online discourse, at least in my community, because like they get blocked pretty easily. Like my mods are on that, but online is as important as single player in my eyes and it should be in everybody's eyes, but I do want the online to be good. <laughs> I don't want to go up against a bad NAT player or a player with low ping or like <laughs> my frame data showing that just because like I'm pushing gigabit internet, which like PlayStation can't even pull the maximum out of. I think the maximum on the PlayStation can actually use ethernet wise. is like 600 megabytes per second, even though you have a gigabit internet. So regardless, everyone should be at least playing around with those. Like if you're seeing like frame data of like <laughs> pings that are like 190 and stuff like that, then like it's, it's whatever, but Game design, basic game design, like, aside, I think that, like, as fans of Soul Calibur in particular, uh, we need to do three things, and that's not gatekeep, <laughs> not try to constantly fight each other over stupid stuff, and we need to blast Soul Calibur as much as we can. Like, just try to shout it out to the rooftops, and that doesn't mean not criticizing it, because I have my fair share of people that have come in contact with that, too. Well, they'll praise things that like need to be talked about and discussed, like Reversal Edge, and just say, I don't know why people don't like Reversal Edge, like blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, well, there's a consensus, and like most of us don't like it, and I can understand where you're coming from, but we really need to focus on what will make Soul Calibur 7 a better game overall, and not just like what will make me feel good because of my feelings, if that makes sense. But I know this is kind of a rambly video, just a topic that I wanted to touch on because I've seen a lot of it um, in the comment section recently, so I wanted to just kind of address it and give it my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But let's get to the poll of the last time we did a Soul Calibur video. And the poll that we actually talked about stated, if Soul Calibur 7 uh, solves a lot of issues that 6 have, but is marginally better in terms of production, what do you think is most important? And 62% of people said mechanics and gameplay are the most important. 13% of people said production value is most important. 17% of people said single player content is most important. And 8% of people said online experience is most important. And this is out of 166 votes. So what we can see just based on this, and you can read the comments while we're actually covering this right now, but what we can tell by this is that Single player and online seem to be like kind of close, but the number one thing that people want from the next Soul Calibur game is the mechanics and the gameplay to be fun and good uh, and solid and balanced and all that stuff. So we'll see what happens in a game that has like Nightmare uh, and um, Astaroth for that matter. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There will be another poll at the end of this video, so feel free to jump on that poll and take place and any all thoughts are always welcome as i always say guys i love it thank you and thank you fire, fire,